Well, it is absolutely my honor and pleasure to be part of this LATAM Startup Conference. And it is absolutely my pleasure to be working and speaking with these very talented tech startup founders who are in the process of expanding their businesses from Latin America to Canada. So we have a few questions. So I'm just going to jump right in. So I'm going to start with Fernando, with yourself. Can you tell us a little bit about your business and your interest in Canada? Sure, thank you. Hello, everyone. Well, my name is Fernando. I'm the founder of Callmakers. Um, at Callmakers, we teach uh, children how to code, and we do it through robots like uh, Kini. Uh, this is our latest uh, product. Uh, with Kini, what we have been doing is engaging uh, children from the age of five to 13 uh, to learn how to code. Um, well, we choose Canada for many reasons. One of them being that it's uh, very multicultural. Uh, we need it so we can test our product uh, different uh, from different perspectives, but also it was uh, very useful for us as a company because uh, we have been uh, working with, for example, uh, at the stage we call students that allowed us uh, to get a better understanding of the North American market. Um, so, so yeah, uh, it's been great. So far, so good. Thank you. Now we'll pass it to Eduardo. Everyone. So uh, we started, what, what we do in CardioTrack, we are monitoring and, and preventing and controlling uh, cardiovascular disease specifically to the early stages of, of uh, hypertension. So what we have done is we are working with companies and helping them to have a better and more healthier workforces in order to uh, increase their productivity to the continuous monitoring of, of, uh, of could, what could be hypertension. Okay, thank you. And Enrique. Thank you, Shelley, and everyone in the panel and in LATAM. I am Enrique Suarez. I am co-founder and CEO of Mountex Real Estate Capital. We are an investment platform for real estate. We are giving access to real estate deals to Latin American investors through blockchain and through technology. We are opening a multi-million dollar market that has been closed only for the really wealthy now with technology, we are giving access and uh, uh, you know letting people invest and create uh, some wealth for themselves. Thank you. And are you able to touch on a little bit about your interest in Canada? Sure. I think uh, Canada it's a, a country we are using blockchain. Of course, uh, blockchain is uh, Canada is really really strong and the ecosystem of blockchain has uh, been, you know, Ethereum, the second largest uh, blockchain being founded there. There's a really huge ecosystem and we're using blockchain to, to open real estate markets. So not just blockchain, but all the tech ecosystem uh, for opening a business and, and growing it globally. It gives you, as Fernando say, all the diversity that you have, you can basically uh, go through all the world using Canada as your as your headquarters to grow everywhere. Okay, thank you. And Mario. Ah, thank you, Shelley, and uh, hello, everybody. And thank you for the opportunity to share with you our experience. Uh, well, uh, I am Mario Centeno. Uh, my, the, my startup is uh, Roleplay. We are a virtual training platform, uh, especially for sales, and we have been focused in pharmaceuticals in Mexico. And well, first we are moving to, to, to Canada and quite Canada is the, our platform is powered by AI and uh, Canada, especially uh, Toronto and Montreal is in AI development. The, you will, we will find one of the main AI hubs uh, worldwide today in Toronto and, and Montreal. Okay, thank you. And the next question is, what is your biggest lessons learned from the Pacific mm -hmm. Alliance process? 
And Mario, I will start with you. Well, uh, as uh, as one of the previous panels say, I, I will say is collaboration. Um, well, that that alliance, uh, we are like forty percent of the GDP gross domestic product in in LATAM. Uh, so I will say mainly is collaboration, and like you, you uh, we have today. In this panel, we have uh, Fernando from Colombia, we from Mexico, we have uh, found uh, people from, uh, from Peru, from Chile. So I will say that that will be one of the advantages of this alliance. And of course, with Canada, that will give uh, a very a strong uh, advantage to this alliance. Eduardo, do you want to jump in on this, on lessons learned? Sense, uh, the advantage of being very close uh, to a very powerful nation, so as, as could be the States as Canada. And, and not only that, you know, the opportunity to be in a, a, a whole different uh, sector and different uh, sceneries that, that you can have or different scenarios from different companies really help us and, and to, to really nest our, our projects to a different ecosystem that really recognizes what, what the Alliance has to bring and really opens up uh, organizations that like them startups, the opportunity to really uh, see the, the potential in organizations in, in the whole ecosystem uh, that could benefit from, from having a, 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 an ecosystem like, like Canada's. So I think that's one of the, of the big takeaways that we can have. Should I go? <laughs> so, so I, I Thank you, Shirley. So um, I think uh, one of the takeaways is uh, for us opportunity, because we find on the different countries and on the different regions, even though uh, sometimes you are focused um, on your market, uh, with technology now you can see the, the whole region and you can find similarities on the necessities and the problems that we need to solve. In our case, solving um, financial inclusion or financial literacy in all the region where we have been uh, kind of kidnapped by you know the traditional financial systems and, and they really control everything. And, and in the different countries, we have this opportunity to really open up the market and, and really you know bring uh, or give power to the people back. So I think uh, with, a, with the right uh, solution and the right business plan, it, it gives you opportunity because you can grow and you can replicate your solution in, in the different markets. Well, I guess, and next, uh, uh, you guys say very well, I just keep it short, but to me, the Alliance uh, has been great because uh, it's the proof that, uh, you know, the, con the, the Latin America is, is a huge market uh, that there's definitely lots of opportunity on each of the countries of the alliance that we can um, leverage. Uh, for example, we all in this meeting have a common that uh, we're founders from Latin America and creating these uh, connections between the uh, between Canada and Latin America has allowed us to understand the cultures. So uh, I think uh, one of them is, for example, this. Keep it simple and, and easy, and that has been one of my biggest lessons. Uh, going to the point. Thank you. Excellent. And then, certainly, um, COVID has changed the landscape significantly, and we're very much in a virtual world. So, do you have any key takeaways as you've navigated the process through COVID? And Eduardo. I'll start with you. Yeah, so, so I mean, in, in all the bad that COVID brought, uh, you know, all, everything that, that we suffer, I think the opportunities were there uh, and the resilience was key for, for all of us. I mean, we, we still needed to take advantage and I, I think we all took advantage of, of something like this. I mean, the opportunity of being connected anywhere in the world and, but it takes, it takes a, a different kind of, uh, of doing a business, I mean, Having conversations, pitching is never going to be the same feeling to make ways of it. So, 
So I think, you know, rather than what, what happened, you know, uh, with COVID, I think the opportunity is this, the, the different ways that you can connect to all the world, to different scenarios, even though we were born, because now we get connected one meeting after another. But I mean, uh, I think this is something that, that is, is a good advantage. Okay, and Mario. Well, I uh, thank you, Shelley. I, I will say adaptability. I mean, quickly and to see uh, not the problems, the opportunities, as Eduardo said. Um, I will say, uh, I think everything has pros and cons, and uh, and and I and to find the pros, always everything has pros. And I will and for example, for us as a technology companies. Uh, it, I mean, it's one of the best times today to, to, to be in, a, in this in the technology sector. I mean, to, to have a startup in Canada in technology, I mean, we cannot ask for more. I mean, uh, and I have been selling technology services for the last 32 years. And uh, most of the times the customer says no, no, uh, it, it's it's. Uh, uh, we we can wait uh, come next year uh, no and now is okay come and and show me show me and show me now everybody knows that uh, technology is very important for the business well not just for the business as well for the for the persons so I, I think it's uh, it's a wonderful time for the technology companies but I mean but uh, one has to learn to adapt uh, very uh, to be as well I, I will say the collaboration is very important so I, I, I think it's one of the best times today for for us can go next if that's okay I'll say that for us COVID um, well we basically promote the makers movement and traditionally our company you know it's a lot of meetups and in-person workshops like robotics to teach robotics was in a media like for us was like how are we going to teach this online and through the pandemic is something uh we have been learning um for example uh we were able basically to uh reduce the cost of our robot to make it uh, more accessible uh to the people so and with all the tools online and people is like more used to, to to go online uh we have been able to go to let's say a sort of brick and mortar uh traditional business model to a now an online scalable model so yeah that's that's that has been our journey for, for navigating COVID. Thanks. and um uh, i i was and i agree of course with uh with my partners here but i think um uh, Breaking paradigms has been one of what COVID has bring to us in every in every sense, and especially in business. Uh, I don't know. We can, you know, have a Zoom conference with people all over the world. You can you can close a business. You can have a family reunion, uh, and so it's been changing everything, you know. And that's part of what we're doing in Mountex. Now you can invest from Chile. You can invest in a, in real estate in Canada. You don't have to wait or you don't have to be, you know, prison on, on your own country. So opening all these paradigms, I think that's uh, what uh, it's been one of the pros that we have found in, in COVID. People being open to use new technologies, to, to, new, to know more about new business. And, and the real challenge is now that we have to reinvent the new world because the new world, it's not going to be the way it was in 2019. But it's not going to be also 2020. Now we're going into this merge of, uh, you know, conference and, and openness, but all, all we're getting back to have meetings one on one. So I think uh, that's that's the reason I thought about the paradigms because we need to to open our minds to a new way and a new world. And th this is a very exciting time and you guys are very inspiring. And if I could sneak in one quick question, I know we're almost out of time, but if you had any piece of advice for someone wanting to enter the Canadian market, what would that advice be? Yeah, Mary. 
I will say do it today, do not wait, do not postergate, do it now. Yeah, I would add like what Mario said, I mean, don't question yourself. If you feel in your gut, it's something that you really have to go do it and explore it. I mean, like they said, you already have a no. And, and find a way, I mean, Caras really open doors for everyone and, and, and for all the opportunities. There are a lot of opportunities out there. Yes, uh, I will add networking, network a lot, no matter where you are in any country you can you know like people here is very open to talk so so just go do it online now totally agree you know you have to trust yourself you have to find a problem find a solution and and you know find the right ecosystem where you can build it and canada is the, for sure the right place with a lot of uh, support for for startups and for entrepreneurs and you know just do it you know, don't wait, don't wait. The, the world is not going to, to wait, you know, that everything's perfect. So go for it. Excellent. Thank you so much. And we do have a question from Anna Rivera. The question is, she would like to know, how was your first sale? And how did you manage the barrier languages and cultural differences? Uh, I would like to answer that. Our, uh, our, we have some traction in Mexico, so our first sales come to, come from Mexico. Uh, we are still in Canada going through the regulation to, to be able to raise money in Canada, so we can do it right now. And about the culture, you never finish learning, so it's a continuous process. Uh, uh, of course, the language, it's an advantage that we speak English. Uh, I don't speak French, but I do English, so so I did it that way. But you never you never stop learning the cultural difference. But again, there are a lot of opportunities on those differences to to generate value for your customers. Yeah, like for for us, it's the same. We are like like Enrique going since we're a health company. We are going to the the processes of. I mean, we already have some Health Canada approved devices. We have. We are starting running some some uh, some trials with our Canadian company. Want to run a trial uh, with a North American company also in Houston, Texas. But yeah, I mean, you still have to you know find find a way uh, and and start going out there and start knocking on doors. And 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 the difference, uh, cultural differences, like I said, I mean, Canada is uh, it's full of, of all ethnic everyone from all backgrounds. So so you find a lot of of, of, of how to you know mix yourself and and, and find and find a group that I, I don't think that will be any problem. Real quick because we have to go but the barrier is here it's in your mind uh, so just just you know like improve yourself and go and sell and it, it will happen well just uh, I, and i will say one of the main reasons uh, to go with latam startup is to leave that process of adapting and to and to and to break that uh, cultural differences it's it has been very helpful to be in latam Okay, well, perfect. Well, we are out of time. I feel like we could spend a good hour, certainly, discussing so many topics with such talented founders and tech companies. And I wish we had more time, but I look forward to an opportunity when we can all meet in person and have a conversation. And certainly a big thank you for everyone for joining us and a thank you to LATAM Startups. Thank you.